originally, uh, when you think about an artist, you think of an artist as of somebody that paints or draws, mm -hmm. or you keep going down the line, a photographer or a filmmaker. You know, keep going down the line. Yeah. Fashion designer. You keep going down the line. And you think about all these, like, a lot of the things that take skill, right? Like, mm -hmm. actual skill to paint. But a lot of the founders are not specifically that. Okay. But they're still artists. Welcome to the House of Clay podcast, the number one podcast on culture, where we talk about film, movies, art, music, Web3, NFTs, and all other kinds of cool stuff. Today, we're in Los Angeles. I'm your co-host, Digital Jeff. Rolando Sanchez. Yeah, and we have a special episode for you guys. What do we have today, Roland? All right, so let's kick it off with what we're doing here. Uh, Want to give us a rundown of why we're here? Yeah, all right. So, guys, we're in NFT LA today. We're actually not at the conference. We're everywhere but the conference, and I'll, I'll explain why right now. Yesterday, when we arrived, we um, started documenting a new journey, a new documentary that we're working on. Yeah. Um, I'll get into the details of that in a second. But um, when we got here, the first thing that we... Uh, ended up doing after checking in all that good stuff we went to the mv3 house the metaverse house and it was such a crazy amazing surreal experience yeah for me it reminded me of this scene in the social network from the facebook when they're building the facebook okay mark zuckerberg and a bunch of other stuff people are plugged into computers people are playing games people at the pool and stuff like that but everybody's kind of like still working still talking about the projects or whatever they're you know working on yeah so me and Roland they walk in and we get to finally meet everybody in person the people from mb3 and metaverse thankfully you were rolling the entire time and we were to capture this experience this moment for me that was one of the main reasons that i wanted to come to nft la is to capture that and the fact that uh we're working on this documentary or docu series, which we don't know yet what it is yet, because that's the that's the thing with uh, these type of projects. You know, I have the vision of what the stories I want to tell, but I don't know exactly what format and where they're gonna go. Yeah, or the, where they're gonna go exactly. But um, the main thing was for us to capture it. So that's what we're here in LA. We're here capturing uh, different communities from different NFT projects. Yeah. One of them is MB3. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're doing. Asuki. Asuki, yeah. And then uh, we're going to be doing Smiles tomorrow. Yeah, we're documenting these stories and, you know, we're sharing the vision behind them, the founders, the pioneers behind these projects and uh, how they're going about building, you know. Well, one of the one of the takeaways from yesterday for me was um, as I was having these conversations with these people, um, I was realizing how young they are. Everybody's around 25, 22, even 19 year olds. Yeah. Dude, meet, meeting people at a young age, like on their grind, super, super inspirational. Yeah. Who was somebody that inspired you yesterday? Yeah, this one guy named James. James, we met him at the at the MB3 house. Guy was chopping it up since we pulled up. He was zoned into his computer. I actually didn't get to introduce myself to him when I first saw him because he was in the zone. I didn't get to talk to him until we were about to leave the house to hit up the party afterwards. Um, he told me that he had already been working since the day before so he was like on a 48 hour streak uh, yeah homeboy's 26 years old on his grind he's not only a community builder he's a 3d artist he has his own projects super super cool guy what about you what are your some some takeaways from yesterday takeaways some of my favorite conversations yesterday were with different project founders actually from roberto to gavin uh tori who's they're all part of um mv3 but also with, uh, I spoke to Will Lee. He's the founder of Littles. Okay. Um, so check out Littles NFT. Pretty amazing project. And just listening to the way they're thinking about creation. Okay. So originally, uh, when you think about an artist, you think of an artist as of somebody that paints or draws. Mm -hmm. Or you keep going down the line, a photographer or a filmmaker. You know, keep going down the line. Yeah. Fashion designer. You keep going down the line. And you think about all these, like, a lot of the things that take skill, right? Like mm -hmm. actual skill to paint. But a lot of the founders are not specifically that. Okay. But they're still artists. A good example would be Gary Vee. Okay. All right. Gary Vee does is doesn't 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 really paint or draw or write scripts or whatever. But he's creating a brand, a company that could be kind of like the next Disney. 
See. Si. Right. So there takes it takes a lot of skill to be able to do that. So, so a lot of the founders that I spoke to yesterday have that vision as a yes, I'm not the one creating the music, the art, but I'm the one leading, being the visionary for this. Kind of like orchestrating the entire exactly. vision for the project. Yeah. And the reason it resonated with me and made a lot of impact on me is because that's what I'm doing with Guru Cats. Yeah. With Guru Cats, I'm not the one right like I am I am I am uh, adding to the story. I'm saying I want to tell this type of story. See. But I'm not the one writing the story. And then I talk about the uh, as far as the art. Mm -hmm. Like I have a vision for how it looks. See, see, see. But I don't draw the actual characters. Mm -hmm. We have Sketch. Yeah. Shout you out know. Sketch. Shout out to Sketch. Shout out to June. June is the author and co-founder of Guru Cats. Rick, my brother, did all the editing for the book. And the voiceovers as well, no? Some of the them? voiceovers were done by Eric. Okay. My other brother, older brother. So Eric did the voiceovers for the audiobook. Mm -hmm. Ricky did the editing for the story. Wow. Yeah. And it gave me a lot of confidence, too, to be able to work as a visionary versus a hand, hands-on type of guy. Okay. Which is something that I've always struggled with. I'm a very hands-on. So when I film something, I like, I like to edit it myself. Okay. Not that I don't trust somebody else, but I have a vision when I'm shooting it, so I, that's the way I want it to look. And I have to slowly become, accept that role as a leader, you know. And seeing Roberto being a visionary yeah. yesterday inspired me. Will, Gavin, they're all, they're leading their teams, but okay. not actually doing all the little the little things, you know. Because yeah. it, it, it all, at the end of the day, it all comes back together and they're orchestrating. That's what there is instead of playing the instrument. Yeah. Have you ever been on the other side of the lines? Yeah. So I've always been, I feel like I've always been like in the middle. Okay. Visionary, but also hands on. Yeah. So you miss out on the vision when you get stuck in between, I believe. In the process. Yeah. yeah. You get, like, kinda, I guess you can kind of, mind gets interwinded in the process of creating whatever it is that needs to be created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm very interested to see, to talk to Wahid and Giovanni from Smiles because mm -hmm. I believe they, they, they've they been able to build a brand with Wahid being the creator as like the actual, doing the actual physical manual artwork, mm -hmm. right? He's the one that does all the artwork. Yeah. But then you have Giovanni who's a visionary of like what is, what is needed to move that idea into something more hands-on. Like what is this? Building yeah. the community building uh, the partnerships for the brand and positioning the brand in a way where it's going to be successful as a web3 company i think that takes a lot of energy and skill set with skill set yeah. yeah so i'm interested to talk to them see how they're going about it but yeah man that was for me like a highlight of yesterday uh, one of the one of the cool things which i'm glad i'm so happy you were filming this part <laughs> is how everybody knew about the show and yeah we're barely on this is episode officially episode three yeah officially episode three this is episode three and a lot of people already knew about the show so i'm like damn this is dope that like, was really dope yeah we yeah. were getting um feedback or positive feedback on our on our production yeah and they they, they, they might have still thought that we have a crazy production but in reality it's just us it's just us too yeah. we do all the setup we do all the editing <laughs> And obviously, we're on camera. So. Yeah, so no excuses. If no you're excuses. out there and saying you don't have help, you are the help. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's just us too. Yeah, so that leads me to tonight. We're going to be at the Suki party. And in order for you to get into the party, you need an Asuki NFT. And I think the floor price right now is about 30 ETH. Wow. I'm not mistaken, which is equivalent to close to 100. So you need $100,000 to get into this party. <laughs> uh, luckily, we got some connections. <laughs> house of clay house of clay um yeah and we're gonna be able to uh, document you know the experience i think Wiz khalifa is gonna be there tonight yep. and a bunch of other artists that are set to perform and uh yeah it should be it should be a great night we're gonna do a, a, another episode um uh, revealing what happened yeah right we're gonna follow up the follow up and everything that we're filming guys is part of this docu-series documentary so make sure you click down below follow if you want to support the show Go to the House of Clay Discord. Join the Discord, and um, yeah, let's uh, let's keep telling these stories, man. These are it's it's so sp this is such a special time in human history, and we're documenting this. Rolling Isn't is this rolling. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that amazing? We get to <laughs> do this, man. It really is super inspirational. I'm excited um, for what's to come. There's a lot of un unforeseen steps that we're gonna take, but <laughs> they feel good. They feel confident. Um, I usually sense when something's not feeling right but i feel, I feel nothing but great energies about the people i've met 
the things that we're doing, the places we're going to. So yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for the growth of this. Yeah, and the and the crazy part about what we're doing, and just to be very transparent with the community, is that we've both taken the leap of faith in the sense of we don't really know like where the money's gonna come from in yeah. that sense. Mm-hmm. But we feel great about what we're doing. You know, that's that's the way I've always been able to do things that are bigger than just me. Having full faith that somehow this is gonna pan out. Yeah. And it's like you said, like just taking one step at a time. One step, one step. We don't know where the this path is, is gonna take us, but you know, we're taking the next step today and uh, we're gonna keep pushing. So thank you so much guys for being uh, such supportive of the show. Make sure to subscribe. If you have an extra minute, go ahead and leave a review on the podcast, Apple Podcast, leave us a review, a five-star review. I believe you can also uh, turn on your notifications on Instagram, turn on your notifications on YouTube. And when you watch one of our YouTube videos, try to watch it all because <laughs> yeah. even if it's just playing in the background because it helps us with your ranking better and since we're a new uh channel it takes a lot for for, for it to start role. yeah for it to start trending so all those little things help us out and again thank you so much for the support anything else you want to add roland appreciate the community support like you said dude everything's been sh- everybody's been showing love shout out to 956 yeah Laredo. Yeah, yeah texas always showing love and uh, yeah let's uh let's keep this going guys thank you so much until next time we're gonna be getting ready to go to the suki party and it's gonna be a lot of fun let's go let's go